Hey yo, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Zuby. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing an upcoming Roblox game called The Nightfall Chronicles. So if you guys are seeing this video, that means you also must have saw my other video, which is showcasing the um, witch faction perks. So in this video, I'm going to be showcasing the vampire faction perks. So the vampire faction perks, or so the vampire faction is called the Ostrich, and the owner, Ben, thank you so much again, he gave me um, leader perks and just basically access to the faction's abilities to showcase in this video so this game is an upcoming game which means it's not out yet it's a small game so but it's a really really good game so don't forget to go in the description below and go join the server it's really it's a really good game you can get tester very easily if you're just active in the server so yeah okay so these are all the vampire ostrich perks and these are all the normal vampire perks so we're not going to go through that so we have Blood Absorb, Vampiric Ascension, um, Teleporting Strike, Faction Summon, Dark Mist, Crow Transformation, Body Absorption, Blood Transfusion, Blood Frenzy. So let's go start off with Blood Absorb. Um, but some of these abilities are exclusive to the Ostrich Leader. So um, I know that Faction Summon is exclusive to the Leader. Um, I think body absorption and blood transfusion is also exclusive to the leader. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. But the Ostrich faction is a very strong faction. They have a lot of combos, and I just love playing the Ostrich just because they're, they're so fun to play. Um, and yeah, let's just get started. So we're going to start off with blood absorb. So if you guys don't know what... Okay, so Blood Absorb, basically what it does is, okay, so if I'm low on health, I can siphon someone's blood and take their health and give it to me. So it's basically like a siphoning ability, but not, it, the siphoning doesn't give me magic, it just gives me health. But yeah, I'm gonna wait for Kyle to come back and he can damage me. So as you can see, I am damaged a bit, and if I use blood absorb as you can see i sort of siphon their health and my health bar did go up increasingly and it automatically stops when you are at full health um but you can also just let go of your mouse whenever so it's a holdable ability um but yeah next is vampiric ascension what vampiric ascension basically does it um summons a little area um which damages the players in it and then it will create an explosion. Also in that area, it will give you um, basically like a lot of health. So when I mean by health, I mean when I use Vampiric Ascension, as it is Ascension in the name, you will gain a lot of health from it and it's basically an ultimate. And once the second explosion happens, everyone will like um, fall to the ground and stuff. Um, but this ability is also a little bit glitched. The owner did say that some perks are outdated, so he will update that. But trust me, all the factions in this game are absolutely amazing. So next is Teleporting Strike, which is a normal member ability. So if I click on Kyle, as you can see, I will teleport to him. I will sort of break um, his bones and then I kick him and then it does do a lot of damage, as you can see. Um, let's just wait for him to get up. As you can see, it did do a lot of damage. Um, so he can also do it too. He breaks my bones and then he kicks me. So next is Faction Summon. So Faction Summon is a leader perk. So this is how it looks like. It's not supposed to say Moonclaw, but it's supposed to teleport all the members to them and then they will say, as you wish, my lord. Um, so yeah, anywhere on the map, if the leader decides that they want to summon them, they can just click that ability and they will summon them. Next is Dark Mist. Dark Mist basically creates a mist, a area of red mist, and it will slow all the players in it, which they cannot move. Um, this is how it looks. A red mist enshrouds your surroundings, so you are very much slowed. So you can't use it, but I guess you can spam it which is a little bit glitched. Oh my God, okay, stop. Um, it also does do a lot of damage and you can attack all the players in the mist without them running away from you if that's ever a problem. So yeah, that's a really cool ability. Next is Crow Transformation, which is by far the most cutest thing I've seen. Or, there's a lot of cute things in this game, but basically if you click, as you can see, you transform into a crow and the way to get to your vampiric base is if you become a crow and you fly all the way up to the top so this is above this little like area over here um so if you fly up to the top as you can see there's gonna be this little sort of hideout and then you are at the vampire base 
So now I'm going to have to, have to wait for this cooldown so I can detransform. But you can click again and then you will detransform from a crow. So this area is cool. It's like a little, it's like a little hideaway. And there's a throne, which is obviously fit for the leader. Um, But yeah, if you guys ever need like a place to feel special or just like run away, that's a good area too. By the way, the only way to get into these factions are through applications. So they will release applications in the server, so don't forget to join them. So next is body absorption. So body absorption does not really work in the game just yet. Um, basically what it's supposed to do is if there is a body that and the spirit is on the other side, you are essentially allowed to um, absorb the body, which gives you stats. And it also put, like removes them from the other side, forcing them to go to lobby. So um, as you, there's like reviving spells in the game that have not been added just yet. But um, to make sure somebody actually dies, if you are an ostrich leader, you can just move them on from the other side. So next is blood transfusion. Blood transfusion, I genuinely think is one of my favorite abilities as an ostrich. Only the leader can do this and you can only do it to one person each server, I believe. And it's a really long cooldown. So as you can see, Kyle is a witch. And if I do blood transfusion, I essentially feed the target my blood and it will turn them into an ostrich vampire, but they are weakened. So they will get some perks, some of the member perks, but not all of them. So if I click, as you can see, I bite my hand and I hold my hand out and then Kyle will run towards me. This is a whole animation, by the way. And then I will feed them my blood and then I push him and then he is an ostrich weakened vampire. So I basically allow him to be in my faction as long as he is alive. And if he dies, the ostrich will go away and he will be a normal person. So he's not completely accepted in the faction, but you he can his lifeline um this life he is a ostrich weakened vampire so he can do some abilities but um he's not a complete ostrich so yeah next is blood frenzy oh so blood frenzy basically creates an area of red and you dive into the blood and then you teleport on to someone so if i do blood frenzy now I will create an area of red and I will dive into the bud and I will reappear behind him and snap his neck. So that's a really powerful ability. As you can see, he is dead. It's a really cool ability. It just even works on mortals like witches, werewolves, anything. I don't know if their neck gets snapped specifically, but I do know that they get damaged or something. And yeah. So that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notified for all my videos and whenever I post. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everybody.